de la fortune scandaleuse ou de prendre les armes contre les Welcome to the Code Mental channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you an AI model that uh, uh, is able to do lip syncing. And I'm going to uh, combine that AI model with some code I've created in the past to use the translation APIs from GCP to uh, translate videos. With uh, the code I created before, I was able to translate videos with GCP APIs and using also uh, text-to-speech and speech-to-text APIs. And uh, now I'm going to be able to uh, go one step further and actually uh, do lip syncing. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first thing I want to show you is the wave to lip uh, AI model that can do uh, basically take a video and do lip syncing. It's very cool. It works with uh, normal videos. So you need someone to be in the video itself facing forward. Um, it also can work with uh, cartoons, as you can see here on the right. It also works with static images. So you can convert a static image to a video and then it will be able to work with that. Move the lips, not just the lips and also the chin. So it will look quite natural. So I think before we start doing any GCP work, let's just do a bit of an experiment to see how this model behaves. And also uh, let's try the Google Collab Notebook. The Google Collab Notebook is available from that page. Click here and you get there. So I'm going to uh, take a video I've created in the past. So here we have a video. Hello everyone. Today I will show you how you can speak more than 33 languages with the Google Cloud platform. So this is the video I'm going to change. So basically this uh, AI model allows me to basically provide a video file and then an audio and it will take that audio and it's going to uh, sync the video to that audio. Of course, you need to have a person there or something with a face. It can be a cartoon, it can even be a, a static drawing. It, anything really, and it will actually sync it. So, and this demo here, the Google Collab demo, which I'm using, is actually very cool because you, anyone can try it. And um, the idea is it uses a GPU uh, that Google makes available for this. And, uh, you know, I highly recommend, let's give it a go. So it, this uses NVIDIA, uh, an NVIDIA GPU, and that's why it's checking here. The first thing it does in this Collab Notebook is checking for the presence of NVIDIA, the CUDA compiler. And we can see here, let's run this again. This is a safe no notebook, but run it at your own risk. Okay, I am connected to uh, NVIDIA because you can see here. So I have a GPU, but if you're not sure, there's another way to check it. I can go to change runtime uh, type. I can, I can already see that I have GPU, fine. So second step, I need to basically download a file for the model. It's a checkpoint file, and that's why it's trying to mount your Google Drive. So you'll have to basically download the file, which you'll find on the website itself. So you'll have to download this model here, and then you have to place it in a folder inside your Google Drive. So co I'll copy the code, and I'll just place it here, and then press Enter, and it will do that. Now it's time to clone the, the project itself from GitHub. Okay, so the project is cloned. I already have this downloaded. Okay, wave to it. So that's where I put mine. So you need to make sure that wherever you place your file, you, know, you need to figure out the path first. So I know my path is this one. So make sure the forest slash is there. And then this is going to copy the model file with the checkpoints into the, the right folder. This is already trained, so it's, it's about 400 megabytes. Okay, so this step here, I found it will hang forever because it will ask, actually ask for a, a yes or no. So, and I found that I don't really need to run this right now. So I, I'm not going to run that. So one of the plans I have, I'm going to actually take this notebook and I'm going to extend it and I'm going to create a new one, which I will basically add some extra code to do the automatic translation. Something to bear in mind is that uh, GCP translates uh, English to many languages quite nicely. In fact, one thing that doesn't always work very well is the transcription. So whenever I do this, I'm going to give you the option 
of just doing the automatic translation via the APIs or if you just want to provide whatever text it should say and it will be in English and then you can translate it to any other language then we'll do that as well so it'll be useful right if I can I will try to create a drop down here in uh, GCP so we can specify the language and it will be quite interactive so the way I'm going to do this I'm going to upload some sample data here while this is running I might as well do that okay so I'm going to use the on the phone so I pull that and I'll pull the other file as well so two original files so you already installed the libraries you needed so i'm going to run the next step it's downloading a face detection ai model which will allow it to recognize the face whenever i give it a video the last thing i need to upload is an audio file which i already have prepared and i have a few audio files i'm going to experiment with yeah i have like german arabic japanese and chinese okay so I'm ready to basically try this AI model. But the first thing I need to do is I need to change these paths. So I don't need to, to run this actually, because I already put what I needed inside the folder. So I, I don't need this. Yeah, I'm going to skip it. But now I need to basically take the file name I want to use. So I'm going to use this on the phone quiet first, and then the audio, let's start with Arabic. I'm providing mp3 you can do that as well or it can be a WAV file actually this in the background is using ffmpeg which is fantastic it can take almost anything you throw at it if you compile it with all the different options available and that's actually something that I used in the other project I mentioned just now so it's an error on the phone quiet just made a mistake in the path I'm going to download the file first before I run the other model again because if I don't then it's going to be overwritten so you make sure before you uh, run another video or another sound file you make sure that you download whatever it's inside here so it, this doesn't take too long okay it's finished so now I can download it and take a look Ta -ta -ta -ta. let's give it a go and see how good it is مرحبا بالجميع اليوم سأوضح لك كيف يمكنك التحدث بأكثر من 33 لغة مع منصة جوجل كلاود. So I don't know if you speak Arabic, but if you do, you can let me know in the comment section if this is good enough. Um, by the way, I know I'm aware it's a bit slow because when I did the original uh, sound with the Google Cloud, uh, I decided to slow it down just to keep up with my pace, you know. So now I'm going to try with another audio, um, but instead of giving it the Arabic, I'm going to give it the Chinese. We will see a difference in the video itself, but the, the lip syncing, I think it works. As you can see, it works pretty well. It's done. So let's see how I sound like in Chinese. Okay, you ready for it? It's a bit, uh, you can notice my chin moving quite well, right? So that's... Okay, so one more done. So I'm going to try this variation here uh, as the last one I do. So this one, they actually do a, um, they resize the video to a lower resolution and then we'll see how, how much better it is. I think it's pretty good, to be honest. You do notice that my lips change, right? Like when I, when you look at the actual original video itself, so you see my lips here are much bigger, thicker lips. When you look at the video itself, look at the difference. Yeah, so you see. There's a subtle difference here in the lips, right? Some of, of you might be a bit disturbed by whatever you're seeing, so I apologize, this is only used for good. But yeah, I know what you, you might be feeling right now, which is, where is technology going today? Because I literally can, in five minutes, create a video, basically, where I'm saying something I wasn't even talking. And you know what? Uh, with, when voice technology becomes even better, you won't even be able to recognize whether it's me or not. These researchers obviously are, they are brilliant, right? If they can do this so easily, imagine what the government might be able to do with a lot more budget. Don't trust what you see anymore. <laughs> That's something I can say. <laughs> because you can't, you know, don't trust it. You have to be careful. Always double check, cross-reference. Right, next one. 
So I'm going to try to lower the resolution of this video, which I honestly don't think is going to make a huge difference because the video itself is not very high resolution. Okay, and I'm going to swap to Japanese, which personally I think I sound cooler. Right, so let's see if this is any good. Okay, so you can see it's smaller. Minasan, konnichiwa. Google Cloud Platform de 33を超える言語を話す方法を紹介します. It's not bad. Minasan, konnichiwa. Google Cloud Platform de 33を超える言語を話す方法を紹介します. It's good. Okay, so it's a, it's a comparable result. But to be honest, I prefer the higher resolution because I think the higher resolution is, is already pretty good. 